Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with the 10th part in my Zodiac series. And if you don't know what the Zodiac series is here on my channel, I will leave my first video up here, part 1, when I talk a little, bit, talk a little bit more about what this is and also my playlist. But I am going to do a makeup look that has the monthly the zodiac sign for this month in the center and this time it is the libra or libra and libra in swedish is vågen vågen and yeah when i first looked at the looked at this shade i was like it's the most boring shade ever but actually when it's swatched oh here you can't see shit my swatch game is amazing. It actually look pretty good. It seems like it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Or just the sheen, I don't know. But that is the color of this month. So I'm going to do a makeup look, a makeup look and I think I know what I want to do. Not completely sure, maybe like 94% sure. So yeah, I will zoom you in and then we get started. Okay, so I think this will be like a super simple look. So I will start with this Libra shade and I will take it in my crease and really see how like the color is. I don't know how much it's going to be like visible on me. A little bit at least. Maybe I like this color and I was so afraid for this month. I think this is a good crease color if I wanted to do something like very neutral and something like that. So I have nothing against this color but basing a look on it maybe it wouldn't be my first choice okay but it doesn't feel like i only want this shade so i will actually go in with one from lime crime venus 2 and i think i will go in with that one no i will go in with march this one and take it on my outer part of the eye and okay I don't know if this is going to be like green or grey but I swatched this next to the Libra shade and I thought that they were like a pretty good match and then I will take the Libra shade on the rest of my eye and I don't know how this will look doesn't feel like this Libra shade is going to be the same in my crease as on my eyelid and it's not and it feels like this is very powdery this Libra shade more powdery than I can remember that the other matte shades were and like what do we even feel about this is it the most boring look I have ever done Probably, yeah. I think we have to spice this up with like a fun lip color instead. I think I will go like this. I don't really know what I feel and think about this. Okay, I think I go with this. So I will do the other eye and then my base and my brows off cam and then I will come back and we do something with the other eyes. And I guess I will go the easy way and do the same. And then I will try to match it with like more fun lipstick. So it comes up something with this look. So yeah, I will fix that and then I will be back. And I really hope that I have been in focus. Okay, so I will take... From my under eyes I will take the Libra shade and just like try to smoke it out. Like 
everywhere underneath my eyes and I don't know if this is wrong a bad brush for that I think it is but I want something a little bit more fluffy than I usually use I like hate small blending brushes so every time I need one I like have one okay so the brush is here I hope yes. I don't know if you see any difference so like that and I actually think I will go in with the one the green one just to have something out here and hello did not stick to the brush doesn't stick to this brush at all now it do now it do now it does so i think i am okay with this so i will put on a lipstick, mascara and something in my waterline and I think I will take something like pretty close to this shade in my waterline so nothing like dark or colorful and now I see I just want to go in with a Libra shade a little bit more here so I will do that and then I come back with a complete finished Libra look so this is the finished look for my waterline I used Colourpop's Honey Dude, just like light pen, not white, just light. For my lips, I used a lipstick, and this is Tootsie. I think it's maybe a little bit too cold for the eyes, though, but it is what it is. And yeah, this is my Libra look with this shade kind of in the center. I don't really know if I pulled it off or not. I think it is okay look I am not super excited but it's going to be more fun to do looks with the last two shades which is this one and also this one so only two shades left with this palette and then finally I felt that this one was a little bit more um, I never know name kick up kick up kick back kick up it was okay it was a little bit more powdery than I would can remember from the other ones the other mattes I have used so yeah I like the color but I think it's just like a complementary color or like a crease color or something not like a color that can be on its own of course it can but it's not a favorite color of mine. I don't have anything against it. I think it worked good. It was not hard to blend or anything. But it's not like a color that I am going to reach for. I don't know. I don't feel so right now. But yeah, that was my Libra look. And I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And don't forget to check out my other Zodiac looks. That is a long sentence. So yeah. I really hope you like this and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!